Did you prepare before the test? Yeah. <laughs> I prepared for the test. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. It makes a big difference. It makes a difference from getting a B or a C or getting an A, right? Every, just, a, just a little review always makes a big, big difference. But you did great, as always. So we will see you next week. are you today? I'm normal. <laughs> One of these days you're going to say, I'm great. Someday. Someday. I don't know when, but someday you're going to say, I'm great. <laughs> just don't know when. Hmm. I just did Dudley's test, and guess what I did? No guess? I forgot to record it. I have to do it again. For you. I know, I know, for me. Unbelievable. <sighs> but I'm not going to forget again. I say that every week, but almost every week, every time, not every week, every test, I forget to hit record on somebody. Unbelievable. <sighs> all right. So, are you back in school or still all closed because of COVID? It's closed about COVID. Still closed with COVID, huh? So online. But you like online classes because you don't have to get up so early, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Fix your camera a little bit so that that way your chin, I can put the text of the words under your chin, not in your mouth. Yeah. You can, can you just move the camera a little bit so that it points down a little bit more? Your head should be like almost to the top. Not your chin almost to the bottom. It should be the top of the head. Yeah, it should be like that. Then I can really make a nice video for you. Okay. So are you ready for a test? Yep. Uh, you're always ready for tests. You like tests. <laughs> no. No? You should. You're good at them. So what did you decide? You're going to read about the famous artist, Picasso and Van Gogh, or you're going to read about scariest animals in history? Scariest animal in the history. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to take Van Gogh. All right, then. Well, when you're ready, you read to me about Terra Bird and Megalodon and Super Crocs. Terra Bird, about 60 million years ago, huge birds lived in South America. They couldn't fly, but they could run faster than a horse. Scientists call them teleport because they were very fierce hunters. They caught and killed animals with their beaks. The largest were more than three meters tall. These birds all died about out about two million years ago. Their only modern relatives are also fierce hunters but they're much smaller, only about 80 centimeters tall. Super croc. Crocodiles are the largest reptiles in the world today, and perhaps the scariest too. Some are five meters long and weigh about 1,000 kilograms, but between 100 million and 90 million years ago, a different kind of crocodile existed and it was much bigger it was about it was 12 meters long and weighed about 8000 kilograms that's longer and heavier than a bus scientists call, called it super crack. when they found the fossils in the sahara desert in africa the super croc lives in reverse reverse the Sahara was not a desert 
at that time. It caught other animals with its mouth and pulled them into the water. There, it used its 132 teeth to kill and eat them. Megalodon, perhaps the scariest of all the ancient animals was a megalodon. It looked like a shark, but it was bigger. The largest shark today is a whale shark, and it's about 12 meters long. Scientists believe the megalodon was about 20 meters long. Its mouth was big enough to eat a rhino, but the megalodon hunted other large sea creatures like whales. They first appeared 25 million years ago, and for 23 million years, they were the fierce, fier, fiercest. fiercest hunters in the ocean. Luckily for swimmers and surfers, the megalodon died out two million years ago. Hmm. Two million years ago. Hmm. Good thing for the swimmers. What do you think? Which one's the most dangerous to people? I think it's terrorbird. Yeah, me too. Why do you say the terrorbird? Because it's live on land. <laughs> exactly. You could be out cooking food and then all of a sudden a terrorbird runs through your backyard. That could be a problem. <laughs> like I am sleeping and the terrorbird suddenly eat me. Exactly. Because you don't have to worry too much about the megalodon coming and eating you when you're sleeping. Unless you sleep in a little boat in the middle of the ocean, then maybe it's a big problem. <laughs> and the croc, the croc would be dangerous too, because what could you be doing for the croc to get you? Super croc. Hmm. Especially in prehistoric caveman times. What would people do? Why? Well, how could people get caught by a crocodile? Maybe the running in the forest. I don't know. Well, running in the forest, I think you'd be safe from a croc because the terror bird would be running in the forest. But the croc lives in the river. So if you're going to wash yourself or you're going to wash your clothes, that's when you might have a problem with the crocodiles, right? Same way that people in Africa now and around the world um, end up being killed by crocodiles is they're usually playing along the side of the river or doing something and then they get caught by a crocodile. Yeah. Okay. In some of the highlighted words in our text, which word, it's a noun, means the remains of animal, an animal or a plant millions of years ago? What's a word for that? What is the word for? the remains of an animal or plant millions of years ago. Like when we find dinosaur bones. Fossils? Fossils, that's right. What group of animals include snakes and crocodiles? Insects? Include. Mammals? Right? Crocodiles are not mammals. Crocodiles are reptiles. Reptiles, that's right. Hmm. Which one lived in rivers? Mm, super croc. He did, he did, he did. What do you call animals or people who kill other animals? Hunters. <laughs> Hunters. You want to go hunting? No. No? Why not? Get a deer? Have meat for no, I'm, I'm scared of blood. Scared of blood? Mm. Yeah. It's like my mom. My mom wanted to be a nurse when she grew up, but 
The problem was she was afraid of blood, so she never became a nurse. And I'm, I don't like to kill animals. Yeah, it's not nice. If you, if you have to eat, but other than that, it's not nice to kill animals. Which one runs faster than a horse? The terror bird. Yeah, he runs really, really, really fast. Or at least they think he did. We don't know for sure, I imagine. Which one died out about 90 million years ago? 90? The... Hmm. Uh, maybe the super Yeah, he's, he's the oldest one. He died out. He, he was around... Well, was it 100 million years ago, 90 million years ago before he, he uh, when they existed, apparently. Um, so what is, what's another one? This is not in, in this test, but I'm curious if you know. When dinosaurs die out, the super croc, the megalodon, the terror birds, the dodo birds, when the last one dies and there's no more, what do we call that? They don't exist anymore. They're all dead. So they are now what? It's not in the book. I'm just curious if you know what it is. I don't Dinos know. Dinosaurs are what now? Ek. Existed. Uh, existed. We are existing. We exist. That means we are here today. We're alive. But if they're all dead, it means they're extinct. Extinct. That'll be in another lesson. I was just curious to see if you knew what it was. Hmm. What do you call the terror bird's mouth? Beak. Beak. What do you call a duck's mouth? There's a flat. It's not pointy. Yeah, I'm trick questioning you. <laughs> Donald, what does Donald Duck have? And is it Daffy Duck? Yeah, Daffy Duck, Donald Duck. I don't know. Called a bill. It's different from a beak. Which one lived in the oceans? The megalodon lived in the ocean. Which one was the biggest? The biggest? Mm -hmm. The biggest shark or the biggest, the biggest of ocean? The terror bird, super croc, or megalodon? Megalodon. I always say megalodon, but a megalodon. Maybe it's a megalodon. Yeah, I think so. They're saying this guy could be 20 meters long, but they're thinking the super croc was about 12 meters long. So the megalodon would be much bigger. Much bigger. Which one lived on the continent of Africa? The super croc. Yeah, where did they find the super croc? The remains, the fossils. It was in Africa, but where in Africa did they find? The in Sahara Desert. In the Sahara Desert. Okay, so I want you to explain to me because I'm confused. The super croc lives in rivers, but I don't think there are any rivers in the Sahara Desert. So how could they find the super croc? In the desert. Maybe the Sahara Desert wasn't a desert. When? At that time. At that time, yeah. 90 million years ago. Yeah. I think, um, if I remember correctly, uh, the way the world was back then, I think the Sahara Desert was a lush forest with lots of rivers, kind of like the Amazon rain rainforest way back then. That's why there's so much oil under uh, a lot of the desert sands too, because of the fossils. Yeah. Where did the terror bird live? Mm, the terror birds lived on the continent of South America. Yeah, South America. That's good. What is a word that means, it's an adjective, 
very old, from a very long time ago. Ancient. Ancient. That's correct again. All right. Last question. Well, maybe.、Mm, which one was the oldest? How? Which one was older when it existed? Came before the other two existed, actually. Maybe the super croc. Yeah, right. Because the super croc supposedly existed a hundred to ninety million years ago, but the terror bird and the、uh, megalodon,、um, you know, twenty-five million years ago, sixty million years ago, and both of them, I think, died out around. Two million years ago, still a long time. Two million years ago, I think the oldest human fossil is Lucy, and I think she's like three million years. So, people may have seen the terror bird, maybe the megalodon. Who knows?、Hmm. All right, we're done. It's always fast with you. Did you prepare before the test? Yeah, I prepared for the test. <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. It makes a big difference.、It、makes a difference from getting a B or a C or getting an A, right? Every just a, just a little review always makes a big, big difference. But you did great as always. So we will see you next week. Goodbye, Lily. Bye. <laughs> I'm off to Alien now.